Um, so this is a notorious video. Yeah. I can't actually find the regular one. <laughs> I wonder why. I wonder why. This I, I already is, got a little taste of this. So I gave so. him a little taste. This is a good one. This video is about how you build. This is reactions to Verge's two thousand dollar PC build. Right, and th this is like uh, if you're not familiar, they're a pretty big like news journalistic organization. That's yeah, you know, supposedly they're a big computer know what they're talking about company supposedly. journalist company reviews builds no, no, it's, so it's like kotaku it's like ign or kotaku man they, yeah the verge is paid by corsair by yeah of course asus to, yeah, all these companies to, to put to good reviews use, yeah, yeah yeah so we're gonna watch this um Hopefully you guys will dig um, it. I think this is pretty Twitch, and some of these guys are on Twitch, so shout out to these dudes. Oh yeah, um, yeah, we got a couple of streamers on. Yeah, there. so <clears throat> we got a couple good buddy streamers. Hopefully, uh, they will re react to our video to further the inception. There we go. Sharing reactions in on my reaction. Discord. I kept getting notifications over and over and over to review this thing before it gets taken down on september the 13th of this year the verge published 2019 yeah september 13 2019 a video on youtube this is a notoriously bad video apparently i haven't watched it yet apparently it was like a total fucking shit show yeah how we built two thousand dollar gaming pc <laughs> okay well, so uh yeah my you can see they got a check mark Workflow oh, season two, episode oh, one. This is 2018. Oh, 2018. 2018 even. Wow. Even still, this is uh, this is pretty rough. So tw a two thousand dollar custom gaming PC. So that is really high end. Just to be yeah, clear, that's very so expensive. If you dump two thousand dollars into a computer custom, you yeah. can make that computer have. Uh, technology in it that'll yeah. keep you on the top for at least 10 yeah, years you could have jo scarlett johansson from her <laughs> right now for two thousand dollars <laughs> like like for real the the level of it i mean this was 2018 so it only got better yeah but now in 2020 a two thousand dollar gaming pc like the vert the how future proof that thing is 10 years in 10 years it'll still be okay yeah that's how expensive we're talking about. Two thousand dollars, you can do that. Yeah. But I've been told it is extremely bad, and it's full of things that you just shouldn't do when building a gaming PC. At first, I admit I thought it was satire. So a few years ago, TC or managing editor. Hi, Stefan. You probably desktop. shouldn't have included your Twitter handle here because <laughs> I imagine you're just gonna get absolutely flamed from the internet. You can build a gaming desktop yeah. for around a thousand dollars. Which is true. Apparently, well, he was. Yeah. yeah, you can build a gaming desktop for around a thousand dollars, or all out. <laughs> so he's gonna make that point that we just made. You can build a PC for yeah, four hundred dollars, eight hundred dollars, a hundred and fifty dollars, right? Two thousand dollars. It's you not like uh, PCs cost a thousand, right? And then yeah. it goes up. Yeah, you can definitely budget build a, a decent running computer for 150 bucks if you find the right sales and stuff. Yeah, my my gaming PC is uh, was very good at the time, mm. and I'm sure it could still run the new games on low or medium. Sure, but uh, it wouldn't struggle. Well, that's the thing is 150 bucks you'll get a few years out of it. Like yeah, five. Yeah, maybe. I mean my my mine wasn't 150; it was 550. So yeah, that would have lasted pretty well. And uh, yeah. you, what's good about it is you can just swap. Basically, I could just swap out the GPU. Yeah, yeah. So if you're and doing good, if you're doing like modern stuff, not like new, but just kind of more popular things, you'll be able to, you know, swap out for right. a little while. Yep. All right. So here we go. They they're gonna get into what you need in order to start building a PC. Right. So I spent around 2,000. 2,000 is a decent chunk of change for a gaming PC. Games. So what do you need to build a desktop? Well, of course, first you need a table. Preferably not metal. <laughs> a table. So you, you need a table. Mm-hmm. Okay. That's first. Hold on, time out. Time, time out. <laughs> so what do you need to build a desktop? Well, of course, first you need a table. <laughs> 
first you need a table. Yeah. Look at his face. I love that face. <laughs> I follow this guy. He 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 has great videos. Him and his wife. They they make great videos. Um <laughs> but I like think of <laughs> You're what, right. Like this doesn't look like it, you know? No, no, like you, you you uh you're off to a bad start. We'll we'll say that. Yes. You you need a table. That's yeah. your first priority. Yes. Bad you don't start. want to do it on the ground. Peter, that's just it's Why salvageable, even say but it's a Have bad start. an anti-static working surface layered on top of it, a thermal paste applicator. Oh, no. No. <laughs> you don't need a thermal paste applicator. Just tell people what, a, what thermal okay. paste is. So thermal paste is like a paste that goes between the processor and the heat sink. Not to get too technical, it helps the heat get off of the processor so it doesn't catch on fire. And uh, it comes pre-applied. And you just squish it on. You don't need to apply it. That's like a long time ago. We're talking like... <laughs> He's talking... This guy is talking about a tool that hasn't been used since 2006. Right. I mean, you can, but you don't need to. It, everything comes pre-applied. Yeah, so. and most people who build a PC just dollop a little bit of it. Okay, so what he's doing is he's buying sticky notes yeah. with a, a stick glue to rub on the back of it. Yeah. <laughs> that, yeah. That's what he's that's what exactly. he's doing. <laughs> what? Yeah, so he's they're all gonna tell us you don't need the thing. This one's a, a egregious. Yeah. What? A thermal paste applicator? What the heck is yeah, that? Does anybody ever actually use a thermal paste applicator? No. An <laughs> Allen wrench. <laughs> Why is he recommending an Allen wrench? I have never used an Allen wrench to build a computer ever. I think once I've ever. About I think 30 one time now. there's been Unless one computer. He used that and Allen it was some really weird case. The table. Some tweezers to tie up the wires. We Hold on. <laughs> okay, first of all, guys. Where did they get this guy? Those aren't tweezers. If they are, they're broken. <laughs> those are those are tie wraps. Yeah. Those are quick ties. Did he just say tweezers? Those are zip ties. How in God's name is my English better than his? <laughs> this this is not turning out good already. <laughs> a Swiss Army knife, which hopefully has a Phillips head screwdriver in it. Oh, yeah, can you pop? Oh God, that was painful. I <laughs> so um, as as a hobbyist myself, not necessarily computers, but I like doing some mechanical oh. hobbies. Oh my God! If I'm starting a project, I don't hope that my tools are there. Right. I don't hope my Swiss Army knife has a Phillips head screwdriver. I get the feeling that this dude has never changed a tire in his life. No, this is a guy <laughs> who's probably never changed a tire in his life. And this is his first time ever using that Swiss. I mean, you can see how shiny red it yeah, is. Yeah, that here. thing is brand new. And hopefully it has a Phillips head hopefully, screwdriver. Hopefully. You know, don't actually have a Phillips head screwdriver yeah. anywhere. Because most of them actually, where that Phillips head goes... They have a corkscrew, and this guy seems like a corkscrew Swiss Army knife. Uh, he's a... It. <laughs> See, they knew again. He's a corkscrew bedhead. Yeah, he's a corkscrew bedhead. He pops bottles at Catalina. I'm the Joker, baby! <laughs> he bought it at Whole Foods. Did I just walk into Whole Foods? I'm the Joker, baby! Oh my god! Anyways... A Swiss Army knife that hopefully, hopefully. Okay, hopefully, hopefully yeah, hopefully, yeah, we got it. Right. Dude. We made that oh, comment. Oh. Please not have one of <laughs> these. And last but not least, an anti-static bracelet, which is to protect you. Okay, you don't that's need true. that. Parts. And uh, you're not you are not wearing it correctly. We... Hold on. First of all, just tell them what an anti-static bracelet does. <sighs> okay. An anti-static bracelet, it's, uh, it prevents your body from discharging uh, static electricity. Like if you rub your feet, it can damage the uh, components of the computer if, if you shock you, it. If you shock the components, it right. fries them, and they're, they're dead. Right, you got to get dead. a new yeah. whatever, you break. So uh, what you do is to drain it all out, you have this metal bracelet, or it has a piece of metal that touches your skin, and there you either plug that into ground... Keep going, uh, keep going. Yeah, you plug that into ground, like in the socket that of the computer you're working on, or you just attach it, and it prevents you from discharging. But there has to be a connection to something. You don't just wear a magical band 
that gets rid of your static electricity. <laughs> okay, this is a live strong bracelet. Bracelet, which is to protect Oh, it is. Okay, that's true. The parts. These are the parts you're gonna need. But more importantly, before we get. Hold on. That's not an anti-static bracelet at all. There's no round wire coming off of it. He's not connected to anything. That looks this... like the bracelet I'm wearing. What? It's not a wireless wristband. That's a Riv Strong bracelet. Riv Strong bracelet. Static. <laughs> fucking cancer. I love that guy. He makes great videos. I forget his name. I think it's. I think it's not. I, I know it's not. This Linus. this has Linus to be a troll. Is the other guy. It's Lilo. I think. Lyle, maybe I think his uh, L Y L E. I think I'm not sure. You mean Ryle? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> um, we actually have an Asian caller calling in from California. Ooh, California? Chen on line one. Chen? Yeah. That's not good. Yeah. Because it says right up there that he was it calling. But uh, he just disappeared. That's so weird. Anyways, let's get back to this. This is... uh. Um, them building right. a PC. So this is the anti-static they, bracelet anti -static that's not bracelet. An, static, an anti-static bracelet. Now they're going to start getting into the components you need. I mean, you should build the one. PC. Now they've gone over the tools. Now they're going to show you the components. Oh, that's all the tools you need. Yeah. yeah that's not going to work at all. <laughs> don't, don't listen to this person. This is really bad so far. We have a lot of boxes and a lot of PC parts, so it's best you unbox them, isolate the parts that you really need, so it's best you unbox Wait. them, Isolate the parts, the parts that you that really what? need. Why did he destroy the box? Dude, you have <laughs> He did he ripped that thing to shit. Yeah, What's he was, wrong with he you? He was ripping all the boxes open and there's a knife right here. <laughs> he has a knife. <laughs> Oh my god, dude, this can't be real. They're telling you to trust this guy. Uh, no, uh, what are all the components that he pulled out? Oh, this he is said a that funny part. All right, so... He doesn't tell you. He just goes, pull out all, right, all the components a, there's you There's a need. stick of RAM, unless that's M2 memory or something. I think it's M2. Okay, yeah, it's a little big for RAM, isn't it? All right, is, is, what's that thing right here? Some kind of dongle. It looks like, like a dongle or a flash drive. Yeah, it's a dongle. What the hell do you need that for? A uh, Wi-Fi? Uh, oh god! If, oh, he would use a Wi-Fi. Don't. That's like the worst possible Here we go. thing. Why did he destroy the box, dude? You have a knife right there, man. <laughs> oh man. Uh huh. Yeah, like a normal that wasn't person. So hard was it? <laughs> I mean, when they're like, the, if there's one thing I'll say about computer components, the packaging is very well done. Yeah. Like when you pay for a computer component, they presented to you especially yeah. from the bigger brands they oh yeah it's like opening like a watch a nice watch up sometimes yeah. i usually keep the boxes for the motherboard and the video yeah, card and they're, stuff they're good boxes and screw in with confidence now wait what did you just say screw in with confidence now hold on hold on there's already something wrong here that that he skipped a step can you tell what it is uh Where's okay. the motherboard? I'll tell you. He put in the <gasps> spacers. Oh, okay. To drop the motherboard to give it the space. But yeah. he has to install those himself. Uh-huh. Oh, well, okay. So to be fair, depending on the form factor, a lot of the times the spaces are pre-put in the case. Okay. They have the extras if you need to change it, but it usually goes to like the okay. most common one. Okay. So we'll give them the benefit of a doubt there. Okay. All right. Fair enough. When I did mine, it was a while ago. So some I had to do some. I had, I had to do it myself. But I was. I always thought that part was funny. Like usually, you have to add one or two. He skipped a part, you know, because they're telling you step by step. Uh, but there's already a step there. <laughs> You're gonna destroy yeah, your you computer know. if you don't use those. Yeah, honestly. Yeah, <laughs> it'll short Post out in. and he possibly catch on fire. Tutorial. They didn't tell you to put the posts in, but luckily he already yeah. did it. And you oh, yeah, already so telling you. I chose Asus Z370. Asus Z. Asus Z. Asus Z. For two main reasons. Asus Z. These people review Asus products all the time. Asus Z. One, it has built-in Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, and also it has. 
built-in wi-fi and don't Bluetooth. buy a motherboard just because it has built-in wi-fi <laughs> thank and you and thank also you has support for nvme you can add that later. ssds yeah. meaning you can get really okay i want to stop you don't want onboard why wi-fi is he installing the motherboard straight into the chassis i'd install as much as i physically could onto the motherboard first so you're uh -huh. talking the processor thermal paste it's cooler if it will allow it. Obviously, if you're using an AIO, it's a different story or custom loop. But if it's an air cooler, you can bolt that on there. Um, M.2 mm -hmm. drive, so that could be SATA raw, NVMe, yes. um, and Ram. memory as well. So basically try and build as much as you can onto the motherboard. So when you do transfer it to the case, it's just generally easier. Attention to the brace. that go And that's important mm -hmm. because most of this video could be solved oh, if he really? had just done that. <laughs> <laughs> like, like most of the problems people have with this video is at that very moment. Like everything he's about to show you is not right because he is installing it with the motherboard already inside the, the case. So this is millennials today, man, that they're so overconfident in knowing things. They don't actually know anything. But they'll go out and make a tutorial like this. Like, I'm the computer guy and all of my friends. And I'm making, I'm building a computer here. And it's like, dude, how long would you last on your own? Mm. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Not very long. This guy, like I said, he's he, he has a corkscrew on his... Uh... Swiss Army knife. Uh, oh, well, that's not a Phillips head screwdriver. Guess I can't build a computer. <laughs> just there are no other just, options. Yeah, it's just crazy, dude. The brace, that the brace, the brace, that the brace, that the brace, the brace, the the brace, 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 the Come on, buddy. You, I mean, this is like if someone oh, was this teaching painful. you how to build a car, mm -hmm. and they were like, "Okay, what you do is you put the uh, the engine in the bay before you install any pistons or drive shafts, or <laughs> you put the engine in the hood without any pist. Like I said, pistons. The head is not installed. It's just." The metal hunk of Just the, the, yeah, the, the, the skeleton the of the engine. The frame of it, yeah. yeah. And they're saying, don't forget the, the front plastic bar of your car. Yeah, Over. they're like, they're like, <laughs> yeah, they're like, uh, install the engine, and then they're like, don't, don't, don't forget about the cooling fan box. You mean the radiator? The radiator. <laughs> <laughs> That's what this guy's doing. He's basically telling you to install the radiator, but he's calling it the thing it's not he's calling it something totally different the, the brace that goes at the back the brace the oh my the brace did he seriously just call an io shield plate a brace oh, oh he was talking about the shield plate hammer it in yeah. because there's no screw do not hammer it in please do not hammer it <laughs> dude Why that stuff is very thin in? that thing is like super thin aluminum yeah and yeah. if you like look at it too hard it'll bend <laughs> yeah and when they hammer. say and when they say to push them in like well, i remember when i had to do it you had to take like diagonal yeah and my friend and i had to do it at the same time yeah it's tricky man yeah because then you'll like bend it and twist it and then it's yeah. all messed up yeah we oh, had to God. both like take e corners hammer it in he says hammer it in <laughs> keep let... on hammering nice hammer his face secondly uh it's pretty fast ram it's 2666 megahertz <laughs> wow holy shit he couldn't even say it that's what well, the number he said is a Look million times faster. Dude, than that RAM is huge. Look at those heat sinks on there. <laughs> that's yeah. not that fast for DDR4 it's memory. Not, that dude, is very, wind. very slow. 2666. So there are different types of RAM memory. Different speeds. DDR, different speeds. DDR4 is the highest end. R right. Well, right they're, they're actually doing DDR5. But anyways, right that now, doesn't matter. Right now. And they all run at certain speeds, and the speed that he listed is at, like, the very, like, bottom. <laughs> it's, yeah. like, one of the lowest he ones. He might as well have gone with the DDR3, which is the previous generation. Basically. And have it be the higher end of that one than a low end of a and, DDR4. Yeah, and I just remembered, like, this is a $2,000 computer that he's building. There's no reason he should be, like, short-ended on anything. 
two thousand dollars and he doesn't have the fastest ram x is not that fast i can run at 3200 megahertz that would be <laughs> classified as really fast on ddr3 but for ddr4 not so much okay i don't know what I mean, it's up to like 4,200 or 4,600 oh, now, right? It, it goes even higher than that. Yeah. Holy it, shit. Yeah, like it, it's in the 60s for like server RAM and stuff. Wow. It's, it's fast, dude. Holy fuck, man. Putting all four Those are the ones slots. that require he heat So he has two sticks of RAM, but he's popping all four slots. Okay? Yeah. Just to make sure they're spaced out well enough. RAM. He's putting this in wrong. Already. There's the little notch right there, uh -huh. and there is the hole. Yeah. You can tell right now, this is not lined up. He's already oh. putting it in upside down. Just hammer it in. <laughs> Just hammer, it hammer this in, like, too. <laughs> He's like, get in there, you <laughs> piece of ram garbage. And just lining that up with the load. Oh, they cut away. So once you hear that, uh -huh. they cut away. Well, I hope it doesn't it turn on when he tries so to turn it So once you hear on. that solid clasp, and you don't see the... Wait, what? I mean, what did you say? It's not a clasp. Now he's in slot four. Look. Who edited this? I mean, I tell you, I'm I'm definitely editing my video down so I don't sound stupid. Step three, we're going to install. Hold on. Wait. What yeah, is that's... that? Hold up. What is, what is that? He did install uh, them wrong. Oh my god, he put one in backward. <gasps> he put both of them in backwards, and they're too close to each other. Yeah, no, because you're so used... now it's going to think it's only eight gigs of RAM. It might. It might. <laughs> if it even reads it, because it's right. in backwards. Well, it, okay, so if it's in backwards, it won't work. It's impossible. <laughs> it's impossible. <laughs> it's literally impossible for that to happen. So what happened is he probably broke at least one of those RAM cards, because it looks like they may be facing opposite directions. It, it's yeah. kind of weird. Like, they're facing out. Yeah. And uh, generally, you don't put them side by side like that. Usually, they're one space apart. You're yeah. supposed to use one slot in a certain yeah. order. Yeah. Oh, God, he destroyed those things if he actually shoved that in there and got it to clip. Yep. This right here. What do you guys see wrong? He installed the memory incorrect. Oh, no, he installed the memory wrong. It, they side by side. They should be spaced out for that mother ball. I look at the manual. That's the wrong way. So rip <laughs> dual channel he's support so good, on man. his he's so good. motherboard yeah. if he's going to run his RAM like that. That is only going to mm -hmm. read 8 gigs. That's not going to read 16 because one of them's installed. Yeah, it, it depends. If one of them is installed backwards, then yeah, yes, it will read only saying. eight. <laughs> Speaking of the memory, I wish I could erase this one. But you can always <laughs> upgrade this and swap it out, and it's only held down by one screw and the lock. <laughs> oh! Oh, dude. Oh. Did he just break the... F oh, that's not bent. supposed to bend like that. Well, I mean... You're supposed to not put it at an angle and then put and the screw down, yeah. with the screw right here. Oh, dude. Guys, this is a $2,000 PC. And this is no bueno. Oh, that's very bad, dude. Yeah. It might even be upside down. And the problem is, is a lot of this comes from putting the motherboard in first. Well, that too. You know? But I mean, if even if he didn't put the motherboard in first, he's still doing it all fucking yeah. wrong. Oh, God. I used to fire people for stuff like this. <laughs> <laughs> yep, yep. Are you ready, dude? This is yes. where it gets scary. Latch, so it's really simple. Okay, so he mentions it's only held down by a screw and a latch, but then looking at it, he, he hasn't it. actually put the stand off, and it looks like he's screwing the NVMe drive directly onto the motherboard. Mm. So generally, you'd get these with your motherboard, which is a tiny little standoff and a little screw that just kind of brings up the M.2 drive so that it's in line. He's screwing it down onto the motherboard like, oh, oh. no. No. Is this computer even gonna work? Now, no. which lane you choose depends entirely on what other parts you're gonna put in the system. I'm That's just gonna pick the top crude. one. Absolutely wrong. Yeah, I mean, mean, you don't pick the lane for other parts. No, 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 no. I'm saying like sometimes you have to use a different slot because if it hits the memory, depending on yeah. your card. But there are specific slots that you need to use. Yeah, yeah. There are you certain ones you can throw... choose from. You can't just throw right certain components into certain slots. There are there's various slots different types that fit certain cards, yes. certain components. You can't, and it might fit, but it's not designed for those certain slots. Yeah, and stuff. it's not so he's completely. Work. Yeah, he's wrong about that. Okay, yeah. I'm just gonna pick the top one because the SSD is at the bottom, and I don't want to cover it. I just think it looks nice. Oh no! Hey, uh. Let me see the inside of your computer real quick. It's not even a see-through case. 
<laughs> you can't, it doesn't even have a window. Why, dude? Oh. Make sure that you align it with these little insulating pads. So the Wait, align what? They're not insulating pads, they're anti-vibration pads. What are you insulating what against? What are you talking about? So the power supply doesn't short circuit and come into contact with Oh the my god, system. are you serious? What? Whoa, hold the f***ing phone. That is so dumb. You are actually an idiot. Yeah. Dude, this guy's a fire hazard. This guy just left. I want to leave too. Yeah, well. Go ahead. So we have a 120 volt outlet. Fake and then it till you make it, man. Our power supply. Oh no, 120 volts. I'm touching the case. There's 120 because volts going through my grounded. body right now. But what happens if we take that nice little thing? Nothing. Because if we go into it's ground. Nothing would happen there anyways in the ground. It's grounded. It's almost as if the people developing electrical standards for you. knew what the heck they were doing. It's yeah, a good thing he safe. has what would Jesus do bracelet on or he'd be really screwed. So just take it. <laughs> Yeah, because you remember, he's wearing that anti-static bracelet. Oh, that's saving his life right now. Yeah. Or at least he Slide thinks it, it is. Nice and easy. Nice what? smartwatch. Snug fit, and then shift it what? To the back and make sure it's right up against the front. Wait a second. What's wrong here? Oh my god, he's putting the fan towards, towards the, back the back of the case. Of the case. He's gonna Yep, he's putting it... <sighs> to suffocate airflow on it. Oh no! If you want this PC to actually last and not burn itself the oh, fuck up... God. This is potentially a fire hazard. You should yeah, never do that. that. Never, ever, like, block the fan. No! What the case is designed for is that the power supply should be phasing outward or the... So, on your computer, if you look down. on your computer right now, folks, mm -hmm. you'll see a bunch of little holes that are like mesh in certain parts of your case. Right. And those parts, those holes are there for the, your fans to breathe air in to cool the PC, or in some cases, and the fancier ones, push hot air out right. to cool them down. And which uh, is why it's dangerous when they get filled with dust, because right, right. then you're insulating the heat and it can catch on fire. Right, and so this guy's pointing the fan oh, God. that's supposed to take cool air in uh, towards his components uh, potentially one of the hottest components in the computer right right and it's just going to suck up hot air overheat oh, the power cause a fire fan should be phasing outward so he could pull air in this guy's going to be replacing the power supply in a few months and he's going to be mm -hmm. like holy crap why is this thing dead already he's going to always be pastures. sure to try to play hold on i can see through this i can see the table through the fins of the radiator he does not have fans on that nope. why are there no fans on the radiator so he's Those. just going to fry his cpu too <laughs> he also doesn't <laughs> have the Plastic cover the liquid on cooling. This. That has thermal paste on it. If that thing happens to tilt or anything else, he's just gonna smear thermal paste everywhere. Possibly get it dirty. There's nothing special about this screwing well, process. They're just really long screws because they go through the entire frame of the cooler. And the hell is that an attachment on his Army Why they're really Swiss long Army screws knife. is because you're supposed to put the fans on and then screw the fans on with those screws. That yeah, you don't just put the. They're just really long because they have to go through the whole case, dude. <laughs> can't. Oh my god! That's why they're long. This is, okay, the fans so are this thick, and the this and the is like just a step below Geek Squad. This is worse than Geek Squad. So, yeah. yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's below Geek Squad. Geek yeah. Squad, and just in the IT community, is generally considered the McDonald's of IT. Yeah, and there are like those few hidden gem guys. I heard they're like occasionally. Whiz. There's like a whiz. Those are the dudes they'll have at the top. Yeah. And they're like the advanced guys that they send out or as IT people would call like tier three or something yeah, like that. Yeah. But uh, I, I tried to get in with a, like a hell of a resume and they were like, so if you're at the counter, are you going to try and sell stuff or not? And I was like, well, I prefer to do tech work. And they were like, so you're not going to sell anything? No, I'm a techie. Yeah, that's how they work. My buddy, <laughs> that used, was a long to time work, ago. My buddy used to work for Geek Squad a long time ago, too. And he said the same thing. At yeah, yeah, Best yep. Buy at Aventura. The screws go mm -hmm. through the fans into the radiator to mount uh, them to the radiator. He should yes. use the small one. He's going to drill holes into the heat sink of the radiator. And that fluid's uh -huh. going to go everywhere. Okay, he's probably broken his all-in-one now. I, I doubt this PC is going to last very long. My family in China who made this product cringing so hard right now. <laughs> Every power supply is going to come with a big bag of Velcro cables. Okay, every Velcro power supply cables. is going to come with a big bag of cables. It's not going to, not every power supply, because not every power supply is modular. modular. You have modular power supplies, semi-modular, and then just then normal you have straight cables. So regular. that's a 
bit of a misleading statement. Typically, you want to put the cables in the power supply first. Some cases, very difficult to put it in Didn't after it the in fact. Oh Computer dear, brain, considering you fucked up everything. Alright, so what does that look like right now? That looks like the heatsink is dangling outside of the case where the fans <laughs> should be. And uh, the wires are just tangled up and stuff. That's you really frustrating. To do that. No, Everything you weren't so supposed far, to do that. I have no faith in you putting the CPU properly in its socket. Why the hell is nope. the CPU not oh, he's gonna pin the pin. Point. Oh, no, they reversed that. He's going to fuck up the pins on the motherboard. <laughs> I'm calling it right now. So here's the thing, guys. The most, ex arguably one of the most expensive, There's but, two. but the most important Absolutely. part is your processor. Right, that's the actual computer. That's the brain. Yeah. You don't want to install it last. No. <laughs> you, so, that's not the thing you want to install last. They're on the underside. It goes like this. Yeah. I'll tell you, and I'm not smart. I'm not a computer nerd, but I'll tell you the, the, the steps simply, okay? It goes, open up your case, motherboard, processor, fan, heat sink thing. Mm -hmm. Then you put in your ram mm -hmm. and then you put in your m2 if you have sure or your hard drive whatever right and then you take that and if you have a gpu you put it in whatever well, you gotta wait for the GPU. You know, oh yeah you have to, like, end, you have to mount slot, it so. yeah so you put it in the the case you mount it mm -hmm. then you put in your gpu right connect everything in the case and wires yep, to where wire they need to all go. the tiny wires yeah then you put in your power supply mm -hmm. Then, after that's connected, you wire up the power supply. Yeah, you, after it's all connected, you wire it all up. Then you screw everything back together. Then, th then you go from there with the BIOS and everything. Well, you got to put the hard drive in. Well, I said but that's I, all stuff in the case. That yeah, yeah. I yeah, said to put no, the hard drive it. in. Yeah. yeah, we've got one, and it's an. Or not hard drive. I meant M point two, but that. Oh, yeah, you did say that. Yeah, yeah. But, yeah. Doing recent okay. shit. Yeah, we got one. Super exclusive. You can only buy it on every major retailer in the world. And it supports overclocking. So, what I swear. You... Dude, it supports overclocking. <laughs> you, oh, wow. That, this turned my opinion around. You no, uh, was that an AMD? That doesn't look like an Intel. No, I think it was AMD. Every AMD can be overclocked since, like, forever. Because they just yeah. allow you, they used to allow you to do it to a degree where you would like catch the processor on fire. That yeah, was yeah. old Oh god, you better not overclock. It. Does, it's gonna take this little yeah, you don't overclock that. But that's the thing is that's a very expensive processor, so you wouldn't overclock it to begin with. You don't need to. You don't need to. Plastic part out. We'll just toss that out of here. No, don't do that. You keep no, that. No, you no, need why? that. What the this heck did he troll. just do? And he goes like, Last Jedi level. Okay. Motherboard made Hold on. You weren't supposed he to threw do away that. a part that yes. literally has printed on it. Keep this part. Yeah. What does it do? That's a case for when your uh, motherboard doesn't have a CPU in it. There's a bunch of these little pins that stick out on the motherboard. These tiny, tiny little pins. There's like a hundred of them. We'll just say, and uh, they get bent very easily. And if they get bent, then your computer doesn't work. So what this guy did is he basically threw that out, saying. I'm going to permanently keep this processor on my motherboard yeah. and never upgraded oh, it ever God, again. Dude. It literally, every motherboard has a sticker on that part that says, keep this part. Yeah. Keep it. Don't throw this away. Yep. Manufacturers actually require you to have that metal, not metal, the plastic cover for the socket, the CPU socket. If you plan on RMA that true. motherboard, That's if right. there's you a problem it with it on. and you plan on sending it back to the manufacturer to get fixed, they need that plastic cover. They will not accept an RMA process or request if you don't have that cover. So don't throw that away. Always keep that. Mm -hmm. Also, you do not this just right pull here. it out of the socket. It pops out after you put your CPU in, which you would yep. know if you would have already put your CPU in before all of this garbage that you did on your <laughs> that's literally like the first step and presented by capital one case of course they have a huge sponsorship this is a special is that, part that i've never seen that get, but the hell is he doing i have never seen that what, in my life what the hell did he just do cpu applicator i have never seen a bracket you... for the cpu to be held on so you can install it properly it's what the hell was that thing he was sticking in there it makes it really you don't need that. So what having this little installer does for you is it's basically that's not an installer. 
that you can apply. Yeah, you don't right need that. And this will make it easier you, for us to you apply. You, you, right you don't need that. Make yeah, sure that it, everything lines up. That's a frame for the plastic thingy, dude. You don't so you don't use that. So um, the way it used to be is you used to have to solder these things in and CPUs well, were like a long, long ago. time ago. Now they just use a bracket that you put pop over it and it locks it in place. Yeah. What this guy is doing is he's adding some extra thing that to, to the CPU that doesn't need to be there because there's already a, a lock, a bracket lock. That's. A, I mean, this this is a very expensive motherboard. It's not, you know, yeah, $2,000 computer, man. Yeah, the I, motherboard's got to be $400. I've, I've never seen somebody consistently do every single thing incorrectly Yeah, with really. anything. It almost seems like a troll. It has you don't you don't need that. And make sure that everything lines up. And like, he see, doesn't have it there anymore. He doesn't have it there anymore. And you see how even when he put it in, it's wrong because it it's not flush. Yeah, no, the thing is supposed to pretty easily just flop over it and well, then you kind of lock it. it. It has it has some spring to it. It has a little well, bit of spring to right. it. Right, but, but uh, the spring is on the lock. I thought. I thought it, no, it flops is. down it's, and it, then you... it'll stand up a little bit. Yeah, okay, you know? okay. And then when you lock it down, it'll it'll clamp and in. But what that means is he has the processor not in. <laughs> Dude, they're not even trying. <laughs> they're going to just say, all right, you need this. So you can put it on and then take it off and put it to the side. <laughs> you took oh the God. tool off and you threw it to the side. Why did he spend all that time talking to us about that CPU holder thingy if he didn't even use it? He knows he didn't need <laughs> he didn't, it. Now he can't. He can't delete didn't everything that part he said because the editor is someone else other than him so we're about to apply mm. thermal paste to the cpu why are we about to apply thermal paste to the cpu i'm looking in the aio like typically aios come with like a thermal uh, a small pre amount of thermal paste already pre-applied every cpu cooler actually comes with a bit of thermal paste already neatly applied and it's not every cpu cooler it's not every single one but pretty much everyone building comes with it practice now. to have a little bit extra no and layer it no on no the no. CPU. no no so never touch plastic directly onto that Device. Don't touch anything to it. Yeah. Oh my god. You weren't supposed to do that. Mm. No, mm. no, mm. no, no. You no. need extra. What you don't do? need it's extra. A CPU. You're not icing a cake. <laughs> <laughs> By the looks of it, where I've paused, he looks like he's adding more thermal paste to the CPU and then he's going to put what's already on the cooler on top, which that's a big no no. Don't do that. That's awful. What you should yeah. do is use a pea-sized drop of thermal paste in the middle of the IHS, which is that like metal square on the CPU. Integrated heat spreader, as it's called. That's more than enough, mm -hmm. is a pea-sized blob of thermal yeah, paste in the middle. Once you make Wait, you... the contact with the CPU cooler, that will actually spread out when you go to put yeah. pressure from the cooler so on top of the that's, CPU. So... That's one way of doing it. That's like the lazy way. That's how I did it. Yeah, that, like I said, that's the lazy way. If you want to get technical, you're supposed to put like a pea-sized drop yeah. And then spread it really thin with like a credit card or something. Yeah. Something like that. And then, but the thing is, is you don't need to do that when it's already on the heat sink. They did don't that. Do this. So you don't need to if do that anymore. Yeah, it's because, already, it's well, already. Because uh, thermal paste is poisonous if it yeah. gets in your skin, dude. Yeah. So. Threw up thermal paste onto his processor. It literally looks like a bird of shit all over the processor. <laughs> Imagine a ketchup packet slowly being ran over. He went all bukkake up in that thermal paste. Do you have a thermal paste spreader? Use people the people think you need thing. to use what the whole term. Dude, I can't even make fun of this guy anymore. He's actually like messed up like almost everything. Oh, uh, if this, is, if this computer thing. posts, it'll be a freaking miracle. And they're going to keep the no, cooler raised off the processor, but it's also going to be close enough to actually physically I like this guy because he's he's generally <laughs> genuinely perplexed. He's not even mad. He's just kind of like perplexed by the whole thing. They come in contact. Like and, then the zoo. and then here's what's weird, dude. <laughs> Wait, what? He, uh, no. When did they that's install the, the fan? That's no. That's the fan for the radiator. Yeah. Oh, but, but when did they install it? Because before he installed yeah, the that's mesh. Yeah, screwed in. In the wrong place. <laughs> it's screwed in in the wrong place. But before, remember, wait a second. He put the mesh on without the fans. No, the mesh is up here on the right. That's why. Uh, he put it on the top, and then he put the fan over there where you know it doesn't touch the radiator. <laughs> oh my god, dude! <laughs> They're gonna keep the cooler off the processor, but it's gonna be close enough to make physical contact. Take thumb screws like this. 
and just screw them on. Woo, The uh -uh. Verge. I dislike your editing style so much. You said do it like this, <laughs> and so it's a wide shot. What is this? <laughs> what what like is this all of this? See, because you couldn't do it. <laughs> panels back on which is the top glass side glass front glass and of course the back panel where oh it does have glass so we fully but you can't yeah, what is okay. this what what is all of this <laughs> so that cable management though when you're building a computer yes. always take the time to cable manage of course properly. it Make looks sure like that looks look at that neat. ram you know it it's being molested are, not, are gonna affect your airflow inside your case and, and he he actually used what airflow he doesn't have any airflow slash what we know as zip ties but he didn't do a very good job of actually cleaning up and he holy crap look, there's a together. missing screw on his all-in-one water cooler pump. <laughs> i didn't even Why, notice that had three and there's an extra one and you just threw it away just like the box <laughs> cover and look at this the tubing that goes into his all-in-one water cooler touching pump the contacts GPU. the 1080 graphics card that he has that's bad practice that thing Dude. contains yeah. liquids that could potentially it's gonna be short boiling out the system if it gets damaged by the before heat it gets to the video card yep this the process is gonna boil it and it's gonna explode everywhere. Oh, good, he good. deserves that. <laughs> That's just awful. And we got to the post screen. No so way. What? And we got to the post screen. No, they didn't. No, they didn't. They got so to the post next? screen. Holy shit, it's a miracle. I'm, I'm honestly surprised. All of a sudden, it's put together kind of right because you know how many times he tried to turn that on and it didn't fucking turn up? And yeah. he didn't go over. How to connect like the front and rear bus connections? Yeah, nothing. he didn't go over connecting the power to the, the nope. video card or the processor, or the nope. processor fans or whatever. Uh... He didn't show you putting in the video card. Yeah, he did. Remember, he's like, "Oh yeah, he put it in oh, the slot." Gonna, yeah, I don't want it to cover my M2 memory stick. Yeah, though. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh god, because dude. he wants the M2 memory stick to be seen. I get a feeling that he's not actually loading that game. It's a video of somebody playing the game. <laughs> he got to the post settings. at all. That's amazing. Well, That's USB the biggest flat. surprise of all. He got to the post screen. Ladies and gentlemen, round of applause. And we got to the post screen. You know what he totally skipped too? He totally forgot to mention how to plug in the uh, power switch, reset yep. switch, uh, front USBs, uh, front headphone jack, yeah, and microphone everything. jack. Totally skipped God. over the front panel I.O. I really want him to open up computer manager. I can only and like imagine if it's reading all some kid gigs. following this. Like, okay, and he's like, then pushing the thumb screws and he's like, dude, <laughs> I yep. feel bad for anybody who follows the perch. And uh, you know what? Maybe it's fake news. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, this isn't the computer, obviously. So will never fix the memory. And it's running pretty smoothly. I'm averaging 70 and 80 FPS. You're averaging 70 and 80 FPS because you're in a plane flying around. The game really right. only needs to detail render your plane. Everything oh, else yeah. is like half we'll fly near the you're ground. going so fast. So that's how they hide it with motion blur and all that stuff. So right now I'm playing League of Legends. It's one of my a favorite bad games. benchmark. I, I bet you're terrible at it. He's the worst player. He just yeah, plays, this is pretty much my he just plays, game. He just plays Jungle Momo. <laughs> right? That's a thing, right? I, I, I don't know, man. I know but jungling like, or whatever. Jungle is like a... That's a part of the map. Yeah. yeah. Jungle. You and go it's like jungle. a strategy. Yeah. You go jungle. You ugly. Smart game. game. The <laughs> this is pretty much my favorite game. I haven't learned the controls yet, though. My 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 Android phone could play League of Legends. This is not like a benchmark of a two thousand dollar. No. My question is, can it play Crisis? Yes. Oh, you brought it back. Literally a single core processor. League of Legends could run on the shittiest of laptops. It was mm -hmm. designed that way. Yeah. I'm averaging 120 FPS, and that. <laughs> you don't even know what FPS means. Shut up. Oh, your freaking gunner glasses. Locked the game. He's, he's wearing the he, game. He what? To that frame rate because he's locked the game at 120 FPS. Why? Aren't it's one of my locked bad benchmark game. game. The minimum requirement for League of Legends is literally a single core. I'm averaging yep. 120 FPS, and that's only because I've actually locked the game. 
to that frame rate because he's locked the game at 120 <laughs> fps Dude, why he's such a aren't good we supposed to be benchmarking something why even bother the reason you have it capped at 120 frames yeah. per second is because you probably are not using a monitor that is 144 hertz so anytime you get yep. super high frame uh -huh. rates you're probably you're experiencing blinking. ghosting and yasuo showing up all over the place because mm -hmm. your panel can't keep up with your system and of course now we also oh. have a computer to test and benchmark games here at the verge god so that guys, was incredibly painful to watch that man. was extremely painful to watch oh um they're gonna the verge is gonna use this computer to benchmark video games